This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries. Let's see what we're doing. Bit length. If you don't know how many bits long each number is, you won't be able to decode a string of numbers. Just like we saw earlier, it was really hard to tell if it was 82 or 20 uh, in the previous portion of the lesson. For example, the following binary numbers could be decoded many different ways. Oh, look, this is exactly what we had. 10 and 80, 42 and 20. And that was how we were struggling. To solve this problem, people agree on a fixed length of num of every number. The following string uses the same two numbers, but each number takes up exactly eight bits. No mo matter how many bits is needed. Okay, so let's click run then, and let's test this. So I'm going to start over here. Black, black, white. So empty, full, and then empties. Twenty. Huh. Okay. And now that I got that, so then, so that has three empties. So we're here. So this should start empty and boom, 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 and 42. I was thinking it's 20 and 42, but I wonder which is which, wind chime or... It has to be wind chime for longest because it'd be easy to have a 42 wind chime. And this is how binary actually works. It's always eight bits. So even if you only use one spot, right? Even if only this bit is turned on, it would still be eight bits long, even to represent a one because it's a standard size. So the computer always knows that's what to expect. So it, it doesn't get confused with strings of data. It always knows 8 bits is a single item and to interpret it as such. This is real world computing stuff. Well, computing engineering, computer science stuff. Pretty cool. Let's keep going.